here. Welcome back to episode 95 of Puck to Prem here with Town or Town. Today, you can see it in front of you. We are off to Wembley. It's the EFL Cup final. Liverpool versus Town or Town. Andre, do your thing. Just give the ball and watch him work magic. Turnbull's in the middle. The hometown hero. Can he be picked out? Molyneux's there as well. And James Molyneux completely against the run of play with the first real opportunity of the match. Puts us into the lead of this Wembley final. I can't help but feel like we are riding our luck a little bit in this game. There's another highlight now. It's Moreno cutting inside, ghosting inside, and I think the shot is deflected. It gets past Walton. He probably should have done a little better. Kvetsov, does that go on? Go on, why not? Andre Dezel, Kvetsov, pull it across. Turnbull's there! He's offside. He's offside. He's offside. Oh my god, three minutes left of this first half of extra time. It's whipped in Bentica's header and it finds the top corner. It's heartbreaking. Seconds left of this game. Come on, one last shout of demand more. It's not going to do anything. We lose the final. It's not Talbot coloured confetti falling from the sky today. Liverpool 2, Talbot 1. Okay, folks, so we are back. We're at Wembley. We are ready for one last adventure, one last push. You know what? I'm staying like this. I've decided. Shvetsov. Some space down the middle, maybe. Turnbull. Please, Dylan. Please, Dylan. Two minutes gone. Towler ahead in this FA Cup final. Come on, my word. That's a nuts goal. <laughs> it's first goal of the year, and it's that. What? Why me? Why me? Why me, Fisnick? I mean, that's insane, isn't it? I see it in this wide area. Frost is in. Frost will score, but I mean, I knew straight away. He's got 45 for the season. He's quite good, is that Frost kid? There, ball whip back post. Walker's going to tap it in. Shocking defending from us there. I've got to do something. You know what? I think we need we need a plan B. Why not? Sunny best. Come on to the pitch. Come on down. Oh, what am I doing? We need two goals in the last five minutes. Where are you, Sunny best? He's nowhere. He's nowhere. And for a second trip to Wembley in a row, we lose in the final. What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to episode number 136 of Park to Prem here with Town or Town. And well, if that intro doesn't get you in the mood for today's episode, absolutely nothing will. It's the EFL Cup final. We are taking on Arsenal at Wembley. And if you enjoyed the episode, I'm going to be cheeky. Drop a like on this video right now. I did put a lot of effort into that and I feel like it's, it's got me in the mood just watching it back before I hit start recording so I'm sure you guys are as hyped up as I am. We want to win a trophy. I can't sit here staring at a League One Cup for the rest of my years. I want a proper trophy. And well, I'll be honest with you, the EFL Cup, I wouldn't normally put that much value on. But given the history of our Cup Finals, I will just take absolutely any big trophy at this point. So we're going to see how we get on today. It is going to be a downpour which is not particularly pleasant if we just look at our past meetings against Arsenal. I actually think we have a surprisingly even record. Of course, Arsenal, a team who, well, to begin with, we really, really struggled against. However, as you can see here in our last four meetings against them, we've beaten them. So I feel like we should be the favourites going into today's game. Do the bookies agree? Of course they do. They, they know that we're strong. They know Arsenal are inconsistent. Worth noting, by the way, just in the Premier League, minor distraction, uh, both Chelsea and Manchester City lost this weekend. So we could still currently sit second. We have a game in hand, though, and we could be about to seize our own destiny back into our own hands. You can see Arsenal down in ninth place. The reality for them is they may well be looking to win this competition to have just any kind of European football next year. So there is a little bit of pressure on their shoulders and well just as a reminder before we get into today's game I feel like it's worth just looking at how we got to where we are today so if we look at the EFL Cup I'll be honest with you it's been a fairly easy draw it's been a fairly kind draw we started off with a trip uh, to play Luton Town at home a 2-0 win Douglas and Norman with the goals in that game a rotated team then against Sheffield United a team who humbled us 
with a 3-1 defeat in the league recently. Dylan Turnbull's last-minute goal saw us through there against Preston in the quarterfinals. It was Makassi and Palazzolo with his final bit of action as a Town or Town player to get the goals to get us a 3-1 win there. In the semi-finals, of course, we dispatched of Middlesbrough fairly convincingly 4-1 across the two games. Shvetsov in some good form, our starting eleven starting to play in that game as things got a little more serious. And that leads us all the way to here today. I'm excited for this game. I'm nervous for this game. In terms of team news, absolutely everyone is available, which is really, really great to be able to say because it's been a struggle. And with that in mind, this is the team that we go with for today's game. A few players who experienced some of those cup finals, of course, back in 2030. Four years ago, we reached this final. And then two years ago, we reached the FA Cup final. In goal, we've got Morrigan. He was here for the FA Cup final. And, uh, well, he conceded three against Manchester City that day. We need a much improved performance from him. At the back, two names who I don't think were present on the pitch for either game. I mean, Soretta was just a wee lad playing in Brazil when we were last in this cup final. Let's hope he can put in a good performance alongside Jackie Auger, who has been pretty good in the league this year. In cup competitions in the Champions League, not, not so convincing. So a little bit of nervousness there, perhaps. But he loves big matches, so... I'm, I mean, that's got to be a plus, right? Mateus Aurelio doesn't love big matches. That's a bit of a concern. He's been a standout player this year. Let's see if he can put his big match demons to the back of his head and put in a performance for us today. Out on the left, we have Nico Rote. Can he wrote himself into history? Write himself? Wrote, it doesn't work, does it? Rote's past tense. And even then, it's written. <laughs> An English lesson. Who thought we needed that? Nico, just putting a good performance for me, mate. Do better than I do at English. That's all I really ask. In the midfield, Leskinen was here for the Manchester City final. He was not here for the Liverpool final. He's got experience. He's a wise head and an experienced head in many ways. At 23 years old, you know, he's played almost 100 league games for the club. He is inconsistent. But he does like big matches. We do have a few big match players in us. In midfield, we've got Andre, who again, loves the big match. And alongside him, we've got Matasevic, who... Um, he loves the big match as well. He's inconsistent, but he loves the big match. Which is all you can really ask for. So we've got this little triangle of players here. I need them to all put in good performances today. Andy Eric, just capable of just impossible stuff at the most ridiculous of times. If you could score a wonder goal, that would be superb. And Shvetsov and Turnbull... Leading the way, two strikers who played alongside one another against Liverpool all those years ago, played alongside each other against Manchester City two years ago. I feel like when you look at these two guys, they are kind of Mr. and Mr. Towler in many ways. They just, as a pairing, they are so good. They are so complementary to one another. And we need a big performance from them here. You can see they've got 52 goals between them. It's not even the end of February. They could easily get into maybe 70 or 80 goals. Hopefully they can bag a few more in this cup final today. And well, that's a rundown of our team. On the bench, we've got Markovsky, we've got Deacon, Makassi, Kaiser, Volta, Bubalo, and Stevie Norman. So some younger, perhaps more ex in in inexperienced players on the bench. Maybe one of those is going to write themselves down into, ape <laughs> into Apex folklore. No, into Taulor folklore. I'm thinking back to Gibraltar Apex, which if you've not seen that series, I recommend it. I know I've said that a fair few times. In that series, we bottled so many cup finals. I'm starting to feel that coming back. Let's hope that all that bad form, all that bad looking cup finals is going to be gone now. You know, we've beaten Arsenal the last four times we played them. With that in mind, I am playing on the front foot. We are going for the throats. We are going to attack in this game. Please, boys, please. I, I need to win a game. This is, this, is, this is our moment. This is our moment. I want to believe, although we need to do some defending here. Morrigan tested early on, although I feel like for a goalkeeper in a cup final, it's quite nice to make a stop like that. A little bit of a confidence builder, perhaps. Anyway, Soretta. Why to Matteo Aurelio? He doesn't love big games, but I love him, and I feel like he's the kind of player who doesn't care if he doesn't like big games, because our, our love for him is going to supersede that, and, well... I talked about Andy Eric in a moment of quality. He's absolutely delivered that. What an insane finish that is. On his left foot, if I'm not mistaken, his weaker foot. Finessed into that bottom corner. Mateus Aurelio draws two men to him. It opens up a channel of space for Andy Eric. And what a sweet strike that is. Two minutes gone. That should settle a few nerves, shouldn't it now? You can see, looking at their team, they're playing a very standard 4-4-2. 
They're going retro. And while we're on the attack again here, Rote throws it forward. Shvetsov headed away to Matasevich. Andy Eric has hit the woodwork. Oh, my word. If he scores that, I mean, he could be on for one of the greatest hat-tricks in, in, in uh, EFL Cup final history. The goal scorer with it again in the wide area. A little flick to Roach. you love to see it. Roach plays it forward. Shvetsov, can you get in there? He hits the woodwork. And it goes out for a goal kick. Oh, that was such a good opportunity to get another... Another chance, though. Coming from this left-hand side, it's Andy Eric making himself open again. Whips it to OJ, who was lurking. And he's headed it narrowly over as well. It has been very, very one-way traffic so far in this game, but it remains 1-0. And until we get a second and a bit of breathing room, I will remain on edge as Arsenal bring it forward here. Cuthbert. Back to Gilou. Now back with Cuthbert on this left-hand side. Now inside to Diallo. Andy, Andre clears it to Andy Eric. And now Turnbull marauding forward. Tackled by Gonzalez. But keep the pressure up. Press from the front. Force an error out of them. A turnover in possession to Mateus Aurelio. He has space to run into the right back. Where's he going to go? He pulls it back to Andre. Where are you going to go, Andre? Leskinen. Lovely build-up play here. Switched over onto the left-hand side. Wrote. Ball of quality, perhaps. And it falls the way of Andy Eric for his second goal of the game. And this time, it's the other wing-back getting in on the assist in action. We are two goals up. We beat them convincingly recently in the league. And I don't want to get too carried away, everyone. But we're 20 minutes gone, we're 2-0 up, and we have been by far and away the better team in this game. What a lovely finish that is on the volley. Cushing it into the bottom corner. Arsenal do not know what's hit them. I would love to see Arsenal fan TV after this game. Their players looking uninterested. We're half an hour into a final, and their players have completely shut off mentally. I feel like our team is starting to smell blood. The ball given to Leskinen. Now with Mateus Aurelio. He switches it over to Matasevic. Inside to Andy Eric. Lovely passing play here. We are carving them open. Can we get the ball into the box? We can. Turnbull's there. Down to Shretsov. Andre, Andy Eric for the hat trick. Ah, oh, that was so close. So close. He could have had a hat trick in the final. A heroic block by the Arsenal defender, to be fair. You can see they've actually edged possession, but the shots and the chances just completely in our favour in this first half. And it does appear like, I was about to say, it's going to be 2-0 at the break. There could be one last sting in the tail. Launched forward towards, towards Turnbull. It's picked up by Dewhurst. England international goalkeeper. As England manager, I feel like I should be taking note of his performance today. So far, it's been abysmal. And while that distribution was shocking as well. Andre, wide to Mateus Aurelio. Shvetsov and Turnbull in the middle. Andy Eric's there as well. And he's got a hat-trick in the EFL Cup final in the first half. Look at that receding hairline. That big forehead just unleashing a header off it. Pings off it like a trampoline. I don't even know what I'm saying. The, the excitement's got to me. I'm, I'm saying it now. We've won this cup final. And it's a case of how many are we going to win it by. Lovely header into the bottom corner. Aurelio with another assist. Who said he didn't like big matches? Maybe this isn't a big match after all. I mean, it is only Arsenal. You know, mid-table fodder. Andy Eric's confused because he's got a hat trick. And then I've told him that <laughs> there's more to come. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Andy. I'm really sorry, but look, you've got a hat trick. I want a double hat trick, really. That would be, you know, the get the aim at this point. Anyway, they've got a set piece here. If they score one, we have to take things a little bit more seriously. And well, Cabrero scores, but it's offside. Cabrero, by the way, if you recognise the name, he was the player who played for Portsmouth a few years ago. Very, very good player. Um, you can see here, signed from Portsmouth for Arsenal for 21 million. He's quite good. Unfortunately, he doesn't know the offside rule here. So it's going to remain 3-0. I want to keep a clean sheet in this final. Was it? I mean, he literally doesn't know the offside rule. Doesn't know it. No one taught him it. Poor guy. And now we're gone, and I feel like we should start to make some subs. Shretsov's have not had the craziest of games. You know what? Let's bring in Stevie Norman. Why not? And I'm going to bring in Makassi... for Matasevic. He's not had the craziest of games here. Just a, a little double change to... Freshen some legs up in the midfield and up top. But I feel like this game's done. And I feel like it's been done since half-time. That third goal was really a killer blow. It's almost a bit disappointing we've not been able to get any more in this game. Although we do have a chance here. Leskinen whips it in. Turnbull there. What a save by the keeper to hold on to it, to be fair. That was a really good opportunity. You can see in this game, 25 shots, one clear-cut chance. Five half chances, though. That's really been... Well, we've made things count today. A lot of half opportunities going our way. Some really nice finishing by Andy Eric. And a few moments of quality, really, from him. In truth. 
But that's all we really need. A few moments of quality helps you lift a trophy. And, well, it's done. It's done. It doesn't matter if they score now. 89 minutes on the clock. It is 3-0. The ball whipped to the back post. OJ's not there. The header goes over anyway. And Arsenal completely outclassed in this game. They're showing, you know, some late resurgence, but someone needs to explain to them that they needed to be doing this about 90 minutes ago. A few more highlights maybe to see out the game. Seconds left. 30 seconds left. We are getting rid of our final demons today in convincing fashion. In some ways, it's a shame it's not been a more competitive game. But you know what? After our recent performances in final, I wasn't going to care how we got the win. And if we could get a fourth, it would be a cherry on top. We have maybe got a corner here, but with seconds left, it's all pretty arbitrary. It doesn't really matter. Prepare yourself. Towel or confetti is going to be falling down. Turnbull wants one for his own little goal collection, though. 23 goals for the season. It's 4-0. It looks a little more, bit more convincing, I suppose, when people look back on their history books. Leskin and whipping the ball in. Turnbull doing his thing, winning a header at the near post. Guides it in. Keeper, absolutely no chance. And savour it, folks. We've waited a long time for this moment. The iconic green suit and red trousers. Morrigan, Captain Morrigan. Why have we never come up with that nickname before? It's like Cop Captain Morgan, but Captain Morrigan. Why have we not come up? That's, that's a nickname now. I'm sorry, it's happening. Captain Morrigan lifting the trophy. Now I get to enjoy it as we just march over and celebrate in front of the Arsenal fans. What a team performance. What a just dominant display. Andy Eric with a hat trick in the final. Not, not bad for a player with 12 finishing, eh? Anyway, I should probably praise the players after that one. It's a rarity. Uh, Andy Eric picked up man of the match. Turnbull with his solitary goal got a decent 9.2 rating as well. And the mad thing is, right, we've won this. Now we kind of have to mentally reset because we've got massive game after massive game really now. Um, you can see here we lift the EFL Cup. Andy Eric picked up man of the match. Dominant display. Andre Dezellas. Praise me as a legend. Thank you thank you very much. Thank you very much. The board are very happy that we've won some silverware. Finally, the Town Lord name can be etched into some major trophy. And one man to thank, <laughs> in truth. One man really made the difference. Uh, you can see Andre being looked at by various people. You don't like to see that. Cancina also played for Juventus today. He didn't have a very good game, but that's fine. I don't even care. I know someone's going to be asking... Jack, why wasn't Sonny Best playing in that final? And, you know, a lot of people have asked me what's become of Sonny Best, and I've talked about it on the Discord server, but I feel like we should officially acknowledge it, really. Sadly, he won't be getting a trophy as a player, but he is now a coach at the team, and he's also an England coach. He's returned. He's back home. We'll give him an EFL trophy or EFL Cup medal. He deserves that at the very least, doesn't he, the 33-year-old? He is an absolutely rubbish coach, I will admit, but I just want I wanted him to be home with us. You can see Tao Law qualifying for the UEFA Europa Conference League. We'll be hoping to aim for a little bit of a bigger competition than that. We pay out a little bit of a bonus. I suppose Sonny Best gets some of that. Uh, you can see here, biggest overachievers were Middlesbrough, who we beat in the final we don't feature anywhere here, which is a little bit sad, but I guess that's what we get for rotating our team so heavily. But we do, we do win it. We do win it. We get our hands on a trophy. Oh, let's just go to the club profile page and enjoy it, shall we? Let's just go back here, drink it in. There it is. Oh, it's so pretty. What a beautiful trophy. Ho hopefully the first of many. It is worth noting that we are potentially in the process of a board takeover, although... As you guys know, if you've been watching the series religiously, this happens every other month. So we'll wait and see. I don't think it's going to happen. Alexander Mutkin remains chairman for now. And uh, wow, what an incredible season this is transpiring to be. But we really have to keep switched on here. We can't just, you know, get too carried away with that one little cup win. We are in the FA Cup fifth round. We have got Manchester City. I'm not doing that game as I talked about previously. However, next episode, we are going to be back for a double header. We are going to do Celtic at home in the Champions League first knockout round, second leg, and we're going to double it up with the game against Liverpool, who currently sit in fourth. They're on a little bit of a recovery mission, and slowly but surely, they are climbing into a title race, and we do need to be perhaps a little wary of them.
But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the intro. There was a little bit of extra work that went into it. Hopefully, we can see more moments like this. If you've enjoyed today's episode, do drop a like on it. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. And that is all from me today. It is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.